Well, the clock just struck 9, 9 p.m. I haven't eaten anything since dinner. So I ate around 3 o'clock, 6 hours already. I'll be in bed in about an hour or so. Um, you know, just I'm looking forward to catching whatever this thing is, this next thing. Because this is the, the next test I have. Since now I'm metabolically um, sound, um, I've hit my goal weight, which is 20, now close to 30 years in the making. Um, <clears throat> there was a time when I used to ride my bicycle a lot just before I got married. I mean, I would ride 50. I even did a 100-mile ride. Uh, I went from Burbank up to Mount Wilson, across to down Big Tahunga Canyon. And then I went like along the foothills of the northern end of the valley over to Topanga. And I think I came back the Mulholland Highway. I mean, it was just like I was gone. Uh, I was riding for like seven and a half hours. <clears throat> and all I took was gorp, good old raisins and peanuts, right? So, um, like I said, I, I, this this latest oh my god virus uh, thingy. Can I say virus? I think I can say virus. Vir from power from man in Latin. Um, so I'm like looking forward to catching it uh, because that way I would know if syndrome X is a severe comorbidity. Um, and who knows if I'll catch it and last a day or who knows um, people have caught something this year and uh, these are all um, these docs that I listen to and, and one guy does he's just pure carnivore and he does uh, a lot of workout weights I mean he does this swingy thing with like a I, I want to say 180 pound ball or something I mean it's just like this huge exercise and he was doing that two days after he got sick um so, let's see. Uh, and I'm not going to take any meds. I don't normally anyway. So, uh, it sure would help me prove my point. But, of course, at the same time, since I'm looking forward to it, um, I obviously don't fear it. And when you're not scared of something, your immune system goes through the roof. You have so much power, you have no idea. Um, so not only do I not fear anything, I'm under no stress. I have, uh, I sleep plenty, nine and a half to 10 hours a night now, uh, because it's dark. So I sleep, I, uh, I live in Mexico. The sun will, um, max out around 45, 46 degrees here. I'm looking South, right? 45 or 46 and probably exactly 45 degrees. That's all winter. It, it goes up to 45 degrees. I walk around in flip flops. Shorts and a t-shirt, so I expose my head, my neck, my entire arm surface from uh, bicep down. My leg from <clears throat> probably, oh, four inches above my knee all the way to my feet, which are bare because of the flip-flops. And I walk at least in the sun, probably 10 to 15 minutes, just going to shop and, and get what I need for the day's food. <clears throat> uh, you saw the previous video what I ate it was actually delicious and it stuffed me man I was like I couldn't even finish I had pecans and walnuts and you know some some chocolate bits uh, I spoil myself every once in a while no I'm talking you know uh, Costco 51% cocoa um, semi-sweet um, chips but I, I never take more than five or six of them uh, and, and normally I will actually take my 95% uh, cacao and I'll dip it in a little bit of peanut butter, kind of like keto Reese's. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this, uh, looking forward to this latest thing to infect me. <sighs> so I don't wear masks. I, I obviously, uh, don't do medical procedures. I haven't done any medical procedure. Matter of fact, if I hadn't worked in a hospital, I would never have been in a hospital since 1999. That was the last medical procedure I ever took. And it dawned on me, I said, hey, if all these other people get the medical procedure, guess what? I'm automatically protected. Well, at least it used to work that way till March 2020. So, <clears throat> um, I have nothing to fear but fear itself. I'm looking forward to getting sick. 
just to see how fast. And I'm going to document it, and I'll post it. I just want to see how, with no meds, I'm not going to go get nothing. I'm going to go through the fever. If there is one, I'm going to go through the hacking, the coughing. I'm just like, come on, somebody give me this thing, please. Um, so I can prove to myself, at least. I mean, I know I'm bio-individual, so are you. Um, but at least I'll know that, gosh, if I just kept eating really well and doing exercises, building my bones, keep up your 493-day streak practice. French now. Yeah, guys, 493. Parlez français, huh? Woo! Ooh la la. Um... So like I said, I just I walk around the world. Um, now the businesses let me in without any protective gear at all, so I don't wear jack crotchety. <clears throat> and I inhale, and I try to hang around sick people, and I try to find those who sneeze and cough, and I inhale. Um, and so, like I said, I'm just I'm looking to catch this thing so I can find out what it's going to do, because if it does essentially nothing. And I'm not going to mention the common cold or anything because that, that wouldn't be very good. I, I, I certainly wouldn't want to call that uh, anything. But um, but uh, like I said, <clears throat> um, it'll prove to me that at least being metabolically healthy and uh, doing HIT, uh, high interval, uh, high intensity interval training and some resistance training, like I said, those air push-ups I do, uh, with uh, isometric exercise against my bones. Um, shoot, man, with good bones, good muscles, eating well. I may never die. That means I have to hang around with idiots for the rest of whatever. Uh, oh, well, I'm over it. <laughs> well, here's the deal, and here's how I prove it. If you bury me, you're right. If I bury you, I'm right. All right. A little dark. But uh, I don't know. I follow that guy. So even after croaked, assuming I have uh, been a good soul, I'll be hanging out with the father. Booyah on his right hand side. Thank you very much. Praise ye the Lord. All right, you guys, we'll talk soon. Bye.